For Bobcad Cam's version 31 release, we've stepped away from antiquated toolbars and layered menus of the old Windows applications and breathed new life into the software by integrating a modern, ribbon-style user interface. Now, with the intuitive organization of the interface, users will be able to remember where functions are easier, and as the software grows, it will become much easier to find new functions in already familiar groups. So the first tab we see is the Home tab, and this contains all of our selection options, like Select Mode, Quick Selection, our Modify Entities, and our Selection Mask. Next to that, we also have the Create 2D tab. Now on the Create 2D tab, this whole tab is gonna be set up for creating 2D geometry. So we have points, lines, arcs, and all the options that go along with those are under the one menu. So you click on arc and you get all the options for creating arcs. If you click on any object, you will get all the options for that object. And then we have the Create 3D tab, and this is where we create all of our 3D geometry. So we have things like primitives, extrusions, solid booleans, and then all of our different surfacing functions. Over on the Utilities tab is where we have our geometry modification section. So this is usually going to be a section where we've already created the geometry. Now we want to translate it or move it. We want to rotate it. We want to mirror it or scale it. But we also have all of our trim extend options, our break options, the adjust options for stretch, drag corner, and deform. We have our reorganize, which has clean up and optimize, as well as explode and erase doubles. And then we have our reverse tab. Now we also have the evaluate tab, which has all of our dimensioning options on it. And then we have our cam tab. Now on the cam tab, we can just start a new job. We can go into our current settings. We could change our cutting conditions. We could change anything about this cam job that we would normally get to by going to the cam tree and then right clicking on cam defaults. You can still right click on cam defaults, but you no longer have to. You can do it up under the cam tab. Now when we create a job inside the cam tree and I say I make a milling job, we're now going to create a milling tab. And from here, you can go up to the top and you can change your current settings. You can go through your stock wizard, create tools, and you can also pick all of your drilling and machining operations right here from this menu. You can also load features, save copy. You can launch your simulation and post your code. You can even update all your geometries and recompute all your toolpath. You can also use the cam tree the exact same way you would have used it in version 30 or version 29 by right clicking and getting all the same options, but they are now up here at the top as well. And then the rest of the user interface is basically the same from the default. You have your data entry, your CAD tree, your cam tree, and Bob art. And then down here you have your layers, your UCS, and posting. But you can move any of these things around. You can close them down. You can grab the boxes and remount to the other side of the screen if that's what you wanted to do. And then the last thing we're going to take a look at is the file backstage section. So we have file new, open, save, and save as. We still have merge, we still have close, and we still have print. But now we have user profiles, which allow you to go in and save user profiles. So I could say this is my CAD layout and this is my CAM layout. And if I just double click on it, it will then load my CAD layout. So you'll see my CAM tree is missing and my posting is missing because this is specifically for the CAD. And then we have the themes. We can actually go in and change what Bobcad looks like. And so you can click on one, say apply, and it'll actually change the way Bobcad looks for the entire user interface. And that concludes the video on the redesigned user interface for version 31.